My dear friends, this year our church of St. John the Baptist, Pilen, is celebrating 365 years of its foundation. We know that this number is a very significant number as it signifies the number of days in the year. Though it's not a jubilee, but this year is very significant for us because our church enters into a very significant year. And in view of this, we have chosen something unique this, this year. That is, one family will be prayed for in the Mass. And also, the family will come and give a gospel reflection. So it's like, throughout the year, all the families that are there will be prayed for. And uh, we know that the Word of God is alive and active. It can touch and change our life as our saint, as our patron, Saint John the Baptist, preached the Word and called for repentance. Let this Word touch the families and uh, may it lead you to change your life. I wish you all the best in this journey of 365 days of our uh, year of this year and may St. John the Baptist intercede for us. Today's Gospel is taken from John 6, 52-59 and the, time, and the time the Jews disputed among themselves saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, we have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me, he also will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like the bread the Father ate and died. Whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. Jesus said these things in the synagogue as he taught at Capernaum. The Word of the Lord. The Gospel is an exhibit of how man tends to hold tight to age-old traditions and systems with stubbornness and pride and how they need to let go of them when faced with the truth. Often we fail to see and believe that Jesus is all around us because we stick to rigid textbook prescriptions of what faith should be. It is time to open ourselves to fully accepting him into our lives by participating in the Holy Eucharist for the soul needs as much nourishment as the physical body by having faith and wholeheartedly receiving his flesh and his blood as well as praying for those who cannot yet and helping them open their eyes and hearts to the truth loving father we thank you for this beautiful church as it celebrates 365 years of its foundation may each and every member of this parish be blessed with good health peace and lasting happiness we thank you lord for the gift of our patron saint john the baptist who was sent by you to prepare the way for the coming of our savior jesus christ may he help us to work for justice and liberty as we walk this path of faith and self-renewal. As members belonging to the parish of St. John the Baptist, we pray that we may grow in love and show respect and concern to our fellow brothers and sisters. May our devotion to you, O great St. John the Baptist, 
open our minds to live a life of sharing in our families, society and church. We pray that our families may be reflections of the home of Jesus of Nazareth. We pray for today's family. May our small Christian communities be models of prayer, love and unity. Through the Eucharist, may our ties with our fellow pilgrims be strengthened. Give us the grace to walk together along with our fellow pilgrims, making our community a vibrant one. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. We pray for Peter Lobo, his wife Zilda, and his son Edsel, and his daughter's family. And Jesus, today again, the disciples find so difficult that the teachings of Jesus who said to them that he will give us his flesh. Maybe the disciples do not understand the meaning of Jesus giving himself in his flesh. But we know what he meant. And as we truly believe in the real presence of Jesus, in the Eucharistic presence of, of our Lord, we ask the Lord to give us the grace to be with him, to spend time with him, and so that we may strengthen ourselves, strengthen ourselves in our struggles. Especially this is our prayer for Peter, Lobo and the family members, so that they may grow in the faith in the Eucharistic presence of our Lord. This is our prayer for them. We may this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.